What's up guys, it is I the Apple Buyer here today, and back with a new video for you all. I know I didn't upload yesterday, but that was just because I was at my dad's. Now I'm ready to go on a grind. Tonight I will be updating iOS 10.2 on this iPhone 5 right here. I know iOS 10.2 has been out for a number of days now, but I haven't updated this phone yet, and it is running iOS 10.1.1 I believe. We'll check right now, but I'm almost positive it is running iOS 10.1.1. Yes, I was correct, 10.1.1. And I wouldn't update this phone if uh, the jailbreak right now, it's in beta form right now, but if the jailbreak was supported for 32-bit devices, then I wouldn't update it, but screw it, I don't care, and this isn't even my phone in the first place. So, we're going to update it, and I'll give you guys my review on 10.2. So, it is right there. I do have to download it. And it, it looks like a pretty big, uh, or not a crazy big file, but it is 255 megabytes. So, it's a decent size for an update, especially on a 16 gigabyte phone. And you can read the change log there if you'd like. You can just pause the video. And it does bring a couple new features in. Uh, the new TV app, of course. Just some pretty cool stuff and just overall a really stable release. There will be an iOS 10.2.1 coming out soon, but I'm not going to do a video on that because there's no real difference between the two uh, versions of iOS. But there's uh, the change log. I am going to do a small boot test on this just to see if there's any initial, like, um, I guess you can say, like, slowdown with the boot time. Not big, too big of a deal, but it is interesting to see. So I will be having my iPhone 3G here be the timer device. Okay, so this is just going to be pretty straightforward, really. Uh, the phone is plugged in right now, but it even says it's not charging because it's not plugged in right now. So we're just going to shut the phone down. And I just dropped the cord. Dang it. Okay, shutting it down, and I'm going to pick up the cord because I dropped it. Okay. And this will be the plug I be uh, plugging this phone into. So we're going to wait till it's officially shut down. I believe it is. Yeah, it looks like it's shut down. So I'm going to just plug this into uh, the, the um, plug. But I'm going to also press start at generally the same time. This is going to be a bit of a mess. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. Okay, well... Timer might be off by a couple seconds, but that was just a delay in the plug, so there it is right there. I'm going to start the, uh, well, I'm just going to speed up the clip. Okay, so here is the phone, and wow, okay, I, dang it, I didn't stop the timer in time, dang it. So, unfortunately, I didn't stop the timer in time, but it took a while to boot up, obviously, you can look at the timer yourself, but yeah, it took a decent amount of time, I was actually surprised, I don't know what was going on with that, but around 40 to 50 seconds it looked like it took to boot up, so that is the boot up time on 10.1.1. So now we're just going to update this phone, and we're not going to go through the whole process like I did in iOS 10, because that took forever to do. So I'm just going to start the time lapse right now, and also I'm going to turn on the timer just to see how long it takes to update the phone. That'll be kind of fun. So, what is this phone doing? Oh my gosh. This thing, okay, there it goes. Update requested, I don't know what it's doing now, this phone is being weird, but alright, I'm going to start the time lapse now. Uh, peace. Okay, so the phone is done updating. It didn't take too long, actually. I mean, it did take around 20 minutes to update. So, I mean, for me at least, it wasn't too long. I mean, all I did really was just, since I downgraded my iPhone 4S here, uh, I just messed around with Siri, and that 
that passed by some time pretty fast. But yeah, so, I mean, iOS 10.2 right here, you get the new TV app, so that's pretty nice. Uh, I'm going to update these apps here, actually. And then we are, well, actually, no, never mind. Actually, I don't want to do that. Uh, basically, we're going to do the boot up test and then call it a night here. Uh, right there, iOS 10.2, software update, as it is right there, proof. And then the two biggest things I can remember off the top of my head for iOS 10.2 is the new TV app, which, whoops, which is pretty big. It replaces the video app, I believe, but you can turn on the video app, um, I think. Let me see. Ooh, look at that super fast iPhone 5 there. You know what? We can unplug this phone. I don't need the charger anymore. Um, iPhone 5 action right here, guys. Just blazing fast. Just, whew. Wolf, just dang, really blows me away every time. But yeah, so let's see. I thought there was like, I guess not. Okay, I thought there was like a setting somewhere where you could change it. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to mess around with it a little bit. But either way, thanks for watching, guys. Or wait, no, 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 we're not done yet. I almost thought we were. Let's do the boot up test now. All right. So obviously the phone is not plugged in. You see the charger in the phone and the phone is says right there. It's not charging. The plug is right here. So we're going to take this plug and shut down the phone too. In fact, I might want to do that. Okay. Let that shut down. It's so hard using these phones or these phones to the app or the camera. I swear. So we're going to launch the clock. There is the timer. And then I guess the phone shut down. Now iOS 10 boots down or shuts down the phones really fast actually. I almost want to say faster than what iOS 6 did. Because I remember in iOS 6 like the phones shut down so fast. But um Alright. Get this ready to plug in. And three, two, one, go. Okay, I don't know why there's a little delay. I know it's not the brick, although it is a little bit loose, but I know it's not because of that. But either way, I'm going to speed up the clip now. Wow, so I don't know what happened here, but it looked like the phone boot up faster by around six seconds. That's actually surprising. I, I actually thought it was going to boot up like maybe like a couple seconds slower, but I guess 10.2 really kind of based off of the boot up test, it just speeds up your boot up time, which take this with a grain of salt, guys. It's just boot up time, really. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. But either way, it is kind of nice or in interesting to see that it booted up faster in my situation. iOS 10.2 in general actually seems a lot faster. So, uh, yeah, that is my iOS 10.2 review and update. I also forgot to mention that they did add uh, a lot of new emojis. Let me find somewhere where I can use the keyboard. So, ooh, I forgot how much different these emojis really were. Uh, I don't know the exact emojis that were added. I think there was a fox that they added, actually. Let me see where that's at. Oh, this is such a weird keyboard. Uh, yeah, like the fox, for example. They had the fox. There, there's a lot of others that they added, too. You can read the whole list, or if you watch everything Apple Pro, I'm sure he did a whole video on the whole emoji keyboard, but... All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I got my... Okay, well, the apps aren't updating. Whatever. That is my iOS 10.2 review for the iPhone 5. Thanks for watching. Have a Merry Christmas tomorrow. I do plan to have a video ready for you guys tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Have a great night or day wherever you are and peace.